Hi, I'm Alex. And I'm Andrew, and we are current residents of St. Luke's Orthopedic Physical Therapy Residency Program. Someone asked why you need to do a residency program in physical therapy because it's not required for practice. Uh, we feel that it's a way to become an expert in the field a little bit faster. Um, you also become a leader in the field because you're getting to that expert level sooner than if you're trying to do this on your own. Also, you're given mentor time where there's one-on-one -on -one mentoring in the clinic with your patients. If you have a tough patient, they will come in and help you at any given time. Also, this is an APTA accredited program which allows you to sit for the OCS exam quicker than the normal average PT that would go leave school, have to accumulate hours, and then wait maybe five years down the road to sit for their exam. Right now we're at the Anderson campus. And I work at our Hellertown campus. Your site is selected based off of who your primary mentor is going to be, and that's based off of your clinical needs and what you're really looking for to get out of the experience. With these multiple locations, on the Wednesdays of your experiential learning, you're able to go see other clinicians in their clinic practice, where you're more on observing them versus being mentored to see how other people practice as well. So another one of the unique advantages to the St. Luke's Orthopedic Physical Therapy Residency Program is our experiential learning days. And we have, we're right next door in the Anderson campus to pain management and orthopedics. So when you do those days, you're right across the hall. And that's one of our main referral sources, at least at this location. We also observe with family medicine, pediatrics, and other physical therapy orthopedic specialists in this program. So you get a chance to really observe and meet and understand a lot more than just your own physical therapy realm. And where these are referral sources, you build that relationship and communication that can be useful later on in your career. Most residencies have some sort of formal research requirement. St. Luke's is different, however, because it allows you to implement your own original research project. There are faculty mem mentors here to help you with that, but you are in the driver's seat. The final requirement is for you to submit this research to a formal conference or journal by the end of your stay here. There's really a variety of styles during the program, not just one kind of core mantra that you're supposed to go off, kind of one philosophy to physical therapy. It really is an evidence-based practice approach that gets you that highest level. Class is held during the week, so the time is blocked for you, and you get to serve as a primary CI during the year. Every Tuesday morning, there's four hours blocked off for you and a primary mentor. You're given three separate mentors throughout the year, meaning that different treatment styles will be presented to you. So they're there for you, more of a shadow on the wall, to present maybe a diff difficult patient case. You can work through that with them, and they can also show you techniques on how maybe to improve your application of your techniques that you're doing in the clinic. As a resident, you are a full-time salaried employee. This does not, however, mean that you are there only to work. The primary purpose is for you to be learning. So you are only expected to see about 80% of a full-time equivalent would be for an employee that works there full-time. Didactic time is designed to really expand on that knowledge that you got in PT school and get to that next level of practice. Instead of just learning one way to do a skill, you might learn five or six different ways to use a skill and then you can really pick the one that you want to use. So we go really in depth with each different section, body region, expand on it, get a, a lecturer to come in who's an expert in that area and they can really talk to us a lot about challenging patients they've seen, go over our own cases. And I really appreciated that because if I had a tough case, I was able to go over it with them and say, you know, this is what works, this is what doesn't work, and they can provide suggestions and feedback and really just help you grow. Unlike some of the distance learning programs that are available throughout the country, we provide an immersion. So you not only get to come through this residency learning all the, uh, the content knowledge and getting some of that mentoring, but you also get to be immersed in this culture where you have the vast resources of many different professions. So you get to come out of this well suited and well prepared to help and enhance the healthcare system. Being in a residency program really expands from being a student in the classroom to more of that peer-to-peer -peer learning with both fellow residents and with your uh, mentor. And over the year, it's really cool to see how you develop in your own thinking and your own hands-on skills. You, know, you go from being a new grad not knowing exactly what to do to coming out of a residency really being able to take on any case that's presented and being able to be successful with that case. <laughs>